He is known for being an American botanist, ornithologist, natural historian, and explorer. He is recognized for his acclaimed book, Bartram's Travels, which documented his explorations of the southern British colonies in North America. He is William Bartram. In the annals of American history, there are individuals whose passion for exploration and natural history have forever shaped our understanding of the world. William Bartram was one such visionary, a prominent American botanist, ornithologist, natural historian, and explorer. Born in 1739, Bartram's expeditions in the southern British colonies of North America from 1773 to 1777 would leave an indelible mark on the field of natural sciences. During his journeys, Bartram meticulously documented his explorations in an acclaimed book known as Bartram's Travels. This seminal work chronicled his remarkable discoveries and encounters with the rich flora and fauna of the region. Of particular significance was Bartram's exploration of the dense tropical forests of Florida, a groundbreaking feat that earned him the distinction of being the first naturalist to penetrate these uncharted territories. Bartram's contributions to ornithology were equally remarkable. At the young age of 17, he collected the type specimens of 14 American bird species, which were later illustrated and described by renowned English naturalist George Edwards in his work, Gleanings of Natural History. These descriptions formed the foundation for the scientific accounts by esteemed naturalists such as Linnaeus, Johann Friedrich Mellon, and John Latham. In addition to his achievements in natural history, Bartram was a member of the esteemed American Philosophical Society, elected in 1768, following in the footsteps of his father. His association with this society further solidified his position as a respected scholar and intellectual of his time. William Bartram's expeditions and scholarly contributions had a profound impact on the world of science and exploration. His meticulous documentation of the natural wonders he encountered paved the way for future generations of botanists, ornithologists, and natural historians. Today, his name is immortalized in the scientific community through the standard author abbreviation W. Bartram. As we reflect upon the legacy of William Bartram, we are reminded of a man who fearlessly ventured into uncharted territories, unraveling the mysteries of the natural world. His pioneering spirit and dedication to scientific exploration continue to inspire and enlighten those who follow in his footsteps. In Kingsessing, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, young William Bartram grew up in a household filled with nature and exploration. As the son of renowned naturalist John Bartram, he was exposed to the wonders of the natural world from an early age. Accompanying his father on various expeditions, William's passion for botany and ornithology blossomed. His artistic talent shone through in his meticulous drawings of plants and birds, capturing their beauty and intricacies. Even as a teenager, he played a significant role in maintaining his father's botanic garden, introducing rare species and expanding its collection. His dedication to his craft was evident as he diligently documented his observations. In a letter dated May 30, 1756, John Bartram expressed his gratitude to the English naturalist Peter Collinson for the drawing paper he had provided for William. He shared how William had been occupied with his artistic pursuits, drawing numerous rare birds and preserving them as specimens to send to his friend Edwards. It was clear that William's time was spent immersed in the study of the fleeting wonders of nature. As William Bartram's artistic skills and knowledge continued to flourish, he eagerly awaited the next chapter of his journey, where he would embark on an adventure that would shape his life and contribute to the scientific understanding of the natural world. If you want to discover more adventurers on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button for my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment in the section below, telling us which adventurers you'd like us to feature next.